540 on this uh, Thursday morning now, Carson. Mm -hmm. I know uh, we're just getting one day closer now uh, yep. to Delta making landfall somewhere. And you are right about that, Isaac. Within 36 hours now, and it's still in the Gulf of Mexico, showing some signs of strengthening right now. It's re-strengthened itself back into a Category 2 hurricane, and this is nothing to mess around with. Winds are at 100 miles per hour at the center, and it's moving off to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. So. Eventually, this is going to make more of a northerly and then a northeasterly turn as it moves a little closer to the Louisiana coastline. And of course, the forecast track again anywhere in this yellow, and this is very important to where in this yellow this storm does happen to go because a more westerly track us in East Texas, we do see more rain, a more easterly track. We may hardly see anything at all. And once again, this will track to the northeast into parts of western Mississippi. Tennessee, northern Louisiana, and southeastern Arkansas. But again, we've got a little bit of a sliver of our area in the path of this storm, so we do need to watch out for that very carefully. This is noon today. We could start to see some of the far outer bands of Delta pop up, so you do need to remember those umbrellas if you are heading outdoors. Now, as we go into about 5 o'clock, we see another band of rain start to make its way through the area, so you're still going to need those umbrellas. Don't be caught off guard for today. And then 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, we do start to see more showers and thunderstorms moving into the area. And again, this is starting to see the main band. See these blue arrows? That indicates some gusty winds. This is happening at about 5 o'clock on Friday. And then this will start to push further and further off to the north. And as it does, it brings us additional rain chances. And this is at 8 o'clock. Again, most of this is two hour east. And this starts to push off to the northeast as we go into Saturday afternoon. And eventually, this all moves out of here by Saturday evening. Now, here are those future cast rain amounts. And this is very very important to what we're going to see. Notice western counties may hardly see anything at all, but our eastern counties, yeah, three, four, maybe five inches of rain in some cases. And again, this is just one model run. So this line you see right here between the greens, the yellows and the oranges, this could shift off to the east a little bit. It could shift off to the west. So you're going to want to stay tuned to this forecast. But what I can do for you right now is give you about a 30 to 40% chance of rain for Thursday and Friday. So prepare to have your events canceled because of heavy rain. And if you're in your eastern counties, definitely have that plan B in place. 80s, 90s this weekend, 88 on Monday. We do start to cool down Tuesday and Wednesday. Deep East Texas, similar story. Temperatures will be in the 80s, 71 for your Friday. 90s do return temporarily on Sunday. Of course, for the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website. That is